Hi, do you know you can use your smartphone when the screen is partially broken or the touch screen not working? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a trick that you can even turn your smartphone into a complete laptop or desktop, connect keyboard, connect mouse, and then, you know, do your normal computer work right from your phone. You can use it to unlock patterns and then put in pin or password even when the screen is not working. If you're ready, let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. Today we're going to continue with our series of how to access your phone with broken screen. Uh, the video we did uh, has been doing so well, getting so much response, and now we want to split it into three parts. So this video is going to be part one and the simplest one. Now how you can assess phones that are touch screen and broken, uh, screen are partially broken, uh, not working but you can see something on the phone. With this trick you can use your phone completely normal, uh, unlock your pattern. Um, somebody asked that in the previous video and then put in pin or password and then use your phone. In the part two of this we're going to go further and then do something more advanced and then in the part three is we're going to do the most advanced one where a completely dead phone that you're not seeing anything like you don't even know when it turns on or not, how to get information out of it. So if you like that, uh, click on that subscribe button to enjoy the video and turn on the notification bell icon to get it when it comes out. And a special shout out for our shirt sponsor today, Mac Chatsman. I'll put the link in the description if you want to look sweet, just check them out. So in this one, I'm going to take you to that simplest one where you can convert your phone. <laughs> you know, you can just use this for phone and uh, or those who are already used to working with laptops and PC, you can just use this and then walk in your office, in your desk, in your home, wherever you are. Okay, before we get started, uh, let me list the things you're going to need. You're going to need a mouse, um, a USB uh, splitter or multiplier. You can plug in one and have, you know, two or three other plugins to do because we're going to use both mouse and keyboard. And then you're going to need an OTG. Uh, this one is USB type C uh, to USB type A. Uh, so they are still the one for micro USB uh, to USB type A. So as you can see now, this one is the micro USB. And there are also different type of um, USB uh, multiplier like the one on the screen. So these are the things you're going to need before we go into this. And make sure that the one you're using is the one for your phone. Okay, so we have it now. This is our keyboard. And then um, we're going to plug it in right now. So let's start with uh, plugging in the OTG first. Uh, if your phone is micro USB, find a micro USB OTG. This one is USB Type C, and USB Type C have advantage. Some micro USB might not do multiple devices, might not really really work with multiple devices. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna plug in our mouse, and then we're gonna plug in our keyboard. Now, mind you, this is for screens that are broken or the touch not working or you just want to play around with your phone. Uh, so you can see now the mouse is working. Right now, we're going to go check in the keyboard to make sure that the keyboard also is working. So it goes that look right now, you can see that the keyboard is working while we are typing. The keyboard is working, you know. Uh, the mouse is working, the keyboard is working. So with this, you can you can drag your pattern. Assuming you locked your phone with packet pattern, you can drag the pattern across. Uh, you can do select, click, um, then use keyboard to type uh, like you would just do with your normal phone. So if you watch up to this point, you haven't subscribed, you need to subscribe because in the part two of this, uh, this series, we're going to show you how you can actually link your system to uh, a larger display uh, to a, a smart display uh, with HDMI and then now use your mouse and keyboard to control what you're seeing on that larger screen so make sure you subscribe click on that subscribe button right now if you want to watch that so that's it these are the usb uh, otg for micro if that's the one your phone has use that one and if your phone has usb type c use it so if you have any question hit me in the comment section and until i see you next time peace subscribe i'll see you